What's going on YouTube? Uh, so, video I made a little while back, my Dell 2900 server had kicked the bucket. Um, the heat sink that's right here had fallen off. <clears throat> uh, fast forward a couple of weeks and tried getting a motherboard off of eBay. Ended up getting this one. And when I received it, discovered, I gotta focus here two and actually a third bent pin that I can't find now oh there it is so three bent pins in the socket um, <clears throat> got in contact with the original seller and uh, they actually refunded the money didn't tell me they told me that I did not need to return the board or anything so since it's now a free motherboard we're going to attempt to fix it I've got a really fine set of tweezers here, uh, curve tip. Hopefully, it'll allow me to get into that socket a little bit more easily, and uh, we'll try to twist these pins back around. Figured I'd record my attempt, and uh, we'll see if this actually pans out or not. This might be a total failure. It's hard to say. Never really had to do this before. So it's... Uh, Sort of a trial by fire sort of situation. Of course, now I can't get the camera to focus. There we go. Try to turn this around the other way, it might work better. Oop. Come on. Oh, sorry, this is a little shaky. I don't really have a good, good way to mount this thing. And I don't need to get this perfect. I just need to get it good enough to make contact. Now is when I wish I was like that Lewis Russman guy and had a magnifying glass or microscope computer monitor hooked up to it that makes this whole process much easier yeah, I've broken a lot of hardware over the years Never actually been pins on an LGA socket before. So I'm not sure how this guy managed to do this. That might actually work, that might be okay. Let's try to get that other one now. It's really hard to do through a camera here. If I'm hitting some of those other pins, I'm gonna try not to bend any of those. There's no way I'll get these perfect, but if I can get it at least a little bit close. I 
be a happy camper. Especially see that oh, how I got this for free. Free is good, free. Free is always good as long as you don't ask for it, I guess the best way to best way to look at it. If you ask for something for free, well, you're just being an ass. But if somebody out of their own kindness offers you something for free, whether it be because they sent you a faulty product or they just want to be a nice guy. Yeah, that's cool. In this case, I didn't quite get what I was paying for, so I guess they felt free was a refund. It's the right thing to do. This is kind of tricky. Now, for those wondering, this is a uh, socket uh, LGA seven seventy one. It is a rather old piece of hardware, uh, about ten years ago or so. I think these were made. A tad less. I think this board is actually marked somewhere as a about a 2007. I was looking at it when I first got it. I think that's what I saw. All right, so there's that. Really, just gonna give this one try. If it doesn't work, then we're just gonna run it with one CPU for now until I can get around to. A suitable replacement. Okay, this one is much more tricky to get into. Again, sorry for the the shakiness here. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Broke a pin off. Had it almost where I needed it. And then it broke off. Where'd it go? I lost it there. Trying to get it on camera here. Here we go. Tiny little sucker. 
Well, we might be hosed. I mean, there's a very, very small chance that it may still work. If I can get that bent up enough to make contact, we might just lose a f some functionality. Depending on what this pin goes to, and uh, off the top of my head, yeah, I couldn't tell you. I could probably look it up, but. Oh, come on, focus. I don't know if I can stretch that up to. Well, yeah, it's not likely to work, but maybe we can get enough contact once all the pins are all smashed down and everything. Because they do bend quite a bit. Maybe. Not very likely, but we'll give it a shot. Um, I'll go ahead and put the machine back together and we'll, we'll see if this works. Got all my parts laying here. And we'll give this bad boy, give this bad boy another shot, see if we can get it put together and get it to at least partially work. Stay tuned. It lives! <laughs> Sweet! So apparently that one pin breaking didn't completely screw us because we still have both CPUs showing up. Uh, it's all, <clears throat> excuse me, all, all eight cores there. Uh, it's being heavily used right now because I got folding at home also running in the background. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. I thought for sure breaking that pin off was going to fry it. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Windows 10, I know, oh god, Windows 10 is scary, ooh, you know what, this is the game hosting server, I don't care. Had a free license laying around, good use for it, they needed Windows anyway. Uh, it doesn't even have a Microsoft account tied to it, so, meh. Meh, they can data mine my <laughs> game hosting servers, who cares? <laughs> um, yeah, so this is pretty sick it actually like I said it actually worked I'm happy I thought for sure this thing was toast after breaking that and off so now we got a free motherboard and the server once again lives I'm so so stoked about that oh, it's the little things in life that you know bring you the most happiness usually <laughs> the only oddball thing we got going on now is for some reason one of the power supplies appears to be dead on it it's uh, got dual redundant power supplies so uh, best guess is that pin we broke off maybe has something to do with the signaling to the power supply on uh, the power circuits on the motherboard. Not real sure on that one, but that's another problem for another day. We'll take the power supplies out, swap them around their hot swappable, and see if the same ones go dead or if you know it switches around the other way around. You know, saying that the one that's dead now is still dead. Don't know. We'll find out. Um, cool. So, yeah, this is awesome. Yay. All right. Adios, everybody. Have